Okay, so I've just installed uh, Agnostics into Raspbian, which is a way of checking your SD card for speed. Uh, and I thought it'd be interesting to try. In there, I've got a Magix uh, 16 gig uh, A1 V10 card. So a reasonably fast SD card. But I thought it'd be interesting to compare it to, I wonder if my Zoom will be useful for this. It is. My Kingdian 60 gig drive, and this cost me uh, £13.39 on Amazon, bought it the other day. Uh, I've also got a 60 gig Hitachi drive, which is an Xbox 360 drive, and I've covered this in the last uh, last video, uh, from September 2008. Be interesting to see if that's as fast or faster than the SD card. Um, but that was where well, you can get them for a pound from CEX at the moment, or if you only need 20 gig, you can get them for 50p. Uh, so I just thought it'd be interesting to try. So I'm going to do boot up speed, but I'm also going to use this uh, diagnostics test to see which one is the fastest. Well, I know the SSD is going to be the fastest, but uh, what the difference is between the SD card and the physical hard drive. Okay, so let's switch over to screen capture. Okay, so we go to accessories and Raspberry Pi diagnostics and SD card speed test comes up. So let's hit run test and see what happens. So this is the 16 gig Magix card, uh, which is the A1 V10 SD card. So it should be reasonably fast as SD cards go. So let's boot up with uh, the Hitachi drive. Okay, so this is the Hitachi physical drive now. So Pi Diagnostics, run tests. Installing the Diagnostics app was definitely quicker on the Hitachi physical drive, which was interesting to me. Now, I don't know if it was to do with the internet running slow at that time, but uh, it definitely zipped through it at a much faster pace. So hopefully these outperform SD cards. All right, so it's come up with a fail. This is interesting. Yeah, random write speed. 3.30 random read speed, so it is slower, but it did feel like it was going to be faster. Okay, so let's copy that and put that into my document as well. There you go, a bit more information because it had some fails. Uh, so I'll copy that and put that into my documentation and then try the SSD. Okay, so Raspbian does run faster than all three of them actually. So sudo apt install agnostics. Okay, so that's now installed. We can run the diagnostics program on this. and run tests. So this is the SSD 60 gig. So should wipe the floor with the others. Crikey, that was quick. That was super quick. Look uh, <laughs> at the speed. Wow, just way, way beyond. Right, so let's copy that into my document. Uh, which is on my NAS drive, so I can share it between all of them. Uh, so go, network, connect, public, connect. So it must be this one. So open with, uh, what was it, accessories, text editor. There we go. So if I now pop that in there, now I could probably just get rid of a load of stuff in here. So where this failed, is it getting the same speed every time? 326, 324, 129. Yeah, so let's just take the first, first test and delete that. Okay, so let's have a look at these, these results together. So sequential write speed, uh, we've got 31,148 on the SD card. On the Hitachi drive, it's actually faster. So 31,000 uh, is beaten by 54,000. So actually quite a lot quicker on the sequential write speed. Uh, and then if we look at the SSD drive, the sequential write speed was 91,000. So that is super, super quick. Uh, then if we look at random write speed, we've got seven, well, 7,800 nearly uh, on the SSD. We've got 330, uh, which is a fail because it should have been 500 on the physical drive. And then on the SD card, we've got 
850, which is a pass because 500 is the minimum. And then if we go to random read speed, 2942 on the SD card, uh, and that's a pass, almost double what it needs to be. Uh, on the physical drive, really bad. So random read speed, 127. Uh, and I guess this is because of location on a disk. So because a physical hard disk, if you took it apart, looks like a record deck. Uh, and it's got to move the stylus to the bit where the data is. But uh, I suppose maybe the test does it where it puts it in different parts of the the uh, the drive and then accesses it. So it's not a not a fair test for a physical drive, maybe. So this is why this could be why it seems to be running uh, faster for me than the SD card because of certain things I've been doing. Uh, the sequential write speed has been enough, but random read speed may be important for operating systems and various other things. Uh, and then at random read speed on the SSD, 4041. So uh, a, a really good result. So you can see the SSD is king, uh, hence the name, King Dian. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, then the Hitachi drive uh, is definitely last because it's failed, but sequential write speed was faster. That yeah, was interesting to try. For me, what I'm not bothered about this, uh, it was just, so, just out of interest, but the Hitachi drive, uh, so I've ordered a 750 gig drive from yesterday's video. I'm going to put a one of the large builds on there. I'm actually downloading the Damaso build, the 200 gig build. Uh, it just looked like the, the one I would rather use, but I'll keep an eye on the really big builds and see if they, they suit what I want to do. But it's going to be fast enough for that. For retro games, it's going to be fast enough. I wouldn't want to run an operating system on it necessarily, but uh, but it will do the job perfectly for a very cheap retro pie, uh, one of those custom builds. So let's save those just for for interest, because so, I can I can include them in the document. Uh, I'll put them in the in the notes, and let's close that down. Close that down. Now I was going to do as well the boot speed so i'm gonna to have to switch to camera for this and all i'm gonna do is plug it in and i'll say now when i plug it in uh, and show how quick each one starts up okay so you can see my ssd uh, we're going to boot up until we see the raspbian with the the logo at the top so i'm going to plug in now Okay, so that's done. Uh, now, this test might favor the SD card because it boots from USB first, and I haven't changed this, but I'm gonna leave it as that because I'm, I'm not gonna meddle with it as I've only just got it working. Uh, so, let's shut that down and take out the SSD and plug in the physical drive, my Xbox 360 drive, and let's unplug and plug in now. Okay, pop the SD card in, unplug the USB, and I'm plugging in now. Okay, so that's all done. I think the SD card is the quickest in that test, uh, but in use, definitely using the SSD on things like Chromium and launching things and things like that, definitely a big advantage with the USB. But this is probably to do with how the Raspberry Pi boots USB at the moment. Once the operating system is up and running, it's definitely quicker on SSD. Okay, so interesting tests. I hope you like this all. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.